Hello everybody and uh, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be looking at the uh, Valve Index, which I picked up a couple weeks ago, compared to the original Samsung Odyssey, which I've been using for about a year before then. So here is the uh, Samsung Odyssey and here is the Valve Index. What a difference one year makes. Holy moly. All right, stay tuned. We're going to talk about these. All right, so let me first start talking about the um, Odyssey, which, like I said, I got about a year ago. I got a really good deal on it. Now, when I bought it, um, I just got the headset specifically because I wanted to use it for DCS, Digital Combat Simulator. And I got such a good deal on it. I basically paid $100 for it. And it didn't actually come with any controllers. And at that point, I didn't really need the controllers because all I was using was, uh, I was just using it to play DCS. And a couple comments about it. I think that um, for a first gen VR headset, it's excellent. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, basically what it uses is inside out tracking. So there's two, you can see there's two little cameras here. And so what happens with this, there are no, uh, what do they call them, light boxes. You basically put it on and all you need is the VR headset. And what it does is it uses your surroundings to determine where you're looking. Once again, you know, for the price I paid for it, it was really, really enjoyable. And you can actually look on eBay and um, I'll show a couple of, of uh, sites on there. If you're looking to get into VR for the first time, people are selling these at a pretty reasonable price. And, you know, as long as you've got the graphics card to push it out, um, it works really, really well for an introduction. Um, the headphones are actually attached to it right here. Uh, the sound is pretty good. And then, you know, once you put it on, it doesn't, this, this doesn't move at all. But once you put it on, you basically, uh, let's see if I can get this. Let's see if I have this all tangled up here. Just pull this out. The tangled web we weave. Uh, let me pull it out. Oh, and the cable here is not super long either. It's probably about, I don't know, what do we got here? Like three meters maybe, 12, 13 feet, which is, which is good enough. Um, it was good enough for my purposes because like I said, all I was using it for was playing um, a DCS, Digital Combat Simulator, and basically got an HDMI on one side and the uh, UU, USB 3 it has to be USB 3 so it does need to fit into a USB 3 port on your computer as well but um, basically you, you you put it on it fits fairly well um, there's a little ratchet on the back here that you use to kind of put this in and out you can hear it ratcheting so you put that out you put it on and then you crank it up and you put the things down and like I said it does it does work pretty good uh, there's a little bit of light bleed down here but not bad and the resolution is okay definitely you notice a, a definite screen door effect but like I said if you're looking for um, a budget like I said you can pick these up used for a pretty reasonable price so um, now the other challenge I had with this one was uh, I wear glasses most of the time and they this sits really you can see the lenses in here they sit really really close to your glasses so um, not all my glasses worked with it. I've got actually two pairs of glasses and depending on the glasses I used, um, one set did not work at all and then the other set uh, worked so-so. But it was always right against my glasses, which I didn't really like the feeling of because it was like pushing them into my face and I couldn't actually adjust this. You, you can't, there's no way to adjust this here. Uh, one other thing I'll say that's cool about the Odyssey though is there's a little knob down here right which does your IPD adjustment so if I turn this you'll see here that the lenses kind of move from side to side now what's good about this one here is I've got really narrow eyes my IPD is basically 59 which is like really narrow my eyes are really close together so because I've got such a narrow um, uh, my IPD is so narrow I have actually a lot of trouble with with uh, different headsets. This one here went to 60, 
and at 60 I can still see pretty good it's slightly bigger than what my IPD is but I can still see fairly well with it so it worked okay but that's another really important consideration if you're looking at VR headsets is to make sure that whatever VR headset you're you're purchasing actually has an IPD that can come down to your eyes um, and then there's the volume control here as well so turn the volume up and down which is really nice so so this is my original Odyssey so what happened was um, I've been looking to upgrade and what I did is uh, when the Vive Cosmos came out I guess back in September October 2019 I thought that that was going to be the next best thing and I pre-ordered it and the day it came out I got my my Vive Cosmos I don't actually have it here anymore and guess why because I actually sent it back and the reason I sent it back was First of all, I couldn't make the IPD small enough. Um, the clarity of the Vive Cosmos is excellent, but um, the screen door effect on the Vive Cosmos was uh, virtually nil. But for me, I couldn't make this, the, the um, IPD narrow enough, so it was really uncomfortable. I, I put it on and I almost got a headache. And the other problem I had with the Vive Cosmos was the controllers. I didn't like the way the controllers were. They were actually uh, rechargeable, but from what everything, I, I had a lot of trouble tracking. Now it was also, a Vive Cosmos was also inside out tracking. So no light boxes and um, the little cameras on it. So, um, but what was nice, you could actually tilt the, this up and down, but um, the inside out tracking was really wonky and it had to be really, really bright. I actually used it for maybe two hours that was about the extent that I could do it for me I have a really tough time getting something up if I buy something I really want to give it its maximum chance I don't really want to send it back because I feel like if I use it I'll get used to it but after two hours it's just like this isn't gonna work I, I knew it wasn't gonna work so I packed it up and I sent it back and I will say that Vive refunded my money there was no issues no problems everything was done in a professional manner and it was really cool. So now, of course, I was back to using my Odyssey after that, and I really wanted to upgrade. And so I've been looking at the Index Valve for quite a while. Now, there's a couple of things about the Index Valve. First of all, I live in Canada, and if any of you Canadians are watching this and you've tried to order the Index Valve, you're gonna find out that it's virtually impossible to get an Index Valve in Canada. And the reason for that is, what I believe is the reason is, is here in Canada, there are uh, certain requirements for any products that are sold and typically those those requirements are that the uh, documentation has to be in both French and English right so that's that's just the way that it is it's, it's part of our society and I think that because of those specific requirements I think Valve basically said we don't want to deal with this shit so we're gonna basically just sell in the US or countries where this multilingual requirement is not Thing. but then that's interesting because it's available in a lot of places in Europe so maybe there's other reasons why they wouldn't they, they couldn't get it into into Canada so um, here, I'm just gonna grab my valve index so so here's the valve index and so what I wound up doing was I tried everything to buy this I really decided that I wanted it I was gonna buck up and uh, what I did try was I first of all uh, used a VPN in my computer and then I logged into an American account so if, if any of you use VPNs you'll know what I'm talking if you don't use a VPN basically what it allows you to do is emulate uh, service within another country so for example I could dial in as a, into a US server and become American or a British server and become a British or whatever it is so it really believes that you are in the country that you're dialing in from and I thought that that would work but I guess Steam is smarter than that because even though I could actually log in with the VPN when I tried to actually uh, purchase the Valve Index through the, the Steam website, it wouldn't let me do it. It just, that, that was not happening. And I tried a number of different ways and I thought, oh, well, what else can I do? I, you know, I travel a lot for business. I thought, okay, well, I'm going to the U.S. in a couple of weeks. I'm uh, going to be in, I can't remember where I was going, Minneapolis or... Kohler, Kohler, Wisconsin. I was going to Wisconsin and I thought, okay, well, maybe what I'll do is I'll figure out a way to order it. And I know they won't ship it into Canada, but maybe I'll get it shipped to my hotel in Kohler, Wisconsin. 
and then I will uh, just pick it up there. But then of course, if I couldn't order it, I couldn't pay for it. And then I thought, okay, well, can I get an American credit card? I mean, I tried everything. So finally, I completely gave up on that route. Now, I was fortunate enough that I, I do have a lot of friends in the US and I wound up um, working out a deal with a friend of mine. I basically sent him a message saying, hey, listen, I really want the Valve Index. Can you pick it up for me? I will PayPal you the money. And then once you get it, just mail it up to me in Canada. And he was a little bit worried about that to start with because you know he's thinking, okay, well, we're doing international shipments here. What are we doing? Like, are we sending stuff illegally across the border? And like I said, when I did my research, I reassured him that it's not really that it's a problem shipping it across the border. It, you know, it's basically just a headset. I think the problem was more from a commercial point of view as a corporation trying to bring it into Canada with not, without having all of the, the proper um, requirements like the French, English, etc., etc. Anyways, uh, he did actually uh, purchase it. I sent him the money. He purchased it and then mailed it to me via USPS and I had it basically a week later. Now, the other thing I will say about the Valve Index with my situation is that of course, because it's in Canada, I don't have a warranty. So if something goes wrong with it, and I was really worried about that, you know, especially, you know, you're opening it up out of the box, you're taking it out, you're going, oh man, I hope everything works. Because if it doesn't work, you're basically screwed, right? Then I would have to figure out some way to RMA it, which I'm sure I could, but it would be a pain in the ass. So, uh, it, fortunately, everything worked. So that was all cool. So, the Valve Index, a um, couple of things. Uh, first of all, when they go into this plate here, uh, this plate comes off, see? And I don't know why, I'm sure there's a big empty space here. So I'm sure they're gonna put something in there. Um, it looks like cooling here, right? So you see that there's cooling fans here. Um, and then this plate is just magnetic, so it just kind of, sticks back on like this. Uh, these cameras here are for the lighthouse, which work really good. There is uh, the ability to actually um, move it in and out using this knob. So if I turn this here, I don't know if you can see that, you can see how this is actually moving in and out. Can you see that here? Is it out? In and out. Anyways, my point is, is that this whole thing kind of moves in and out. So. You can really suck it up to your face. And then this, which is really nice here because when you put it on, right? If I stretch this out and put it on my head, I can put it on like this and then I can close it up and adjust my distance to my eyes and then crank this down and it feels really, really good. And then there's the speakers here. And these speakers are amazing. They have the best sound, at least compared to my old Odyssey. They sound really good. So you just kind of move them down to your ears and uh, yeah, the lighthouse starts going and it works really good. And the resolution is amazing. And the other thing that's cool about this, we were talking about IPD earlier, is this actually goes down to an IPD of 58, which means that for somebody who's got a fairly narrow vision like mine, um, you'll see here this little switch here basically adjusts the lenses in and out, right? So you can see that moving in and out. So it's got that really narrow IPD, which is which is really cool. And then, um, you know, the other thing which is kind of neat is uh, this here actually pops out. So I imagine you can take this and wash it off or whatever. Now, the other thing I've got coming for this uh, pretty soon is because I wear glasses, I've got a prescription. Um, I was actually able to order prescription lenses, which I'm going to be sticking in here when I get them, which means I won't have to wear my glasses anymore, which means I can actually suck this right up to my face. Right now I'm keeping it out as far as it can go, which means I don't have quite the same, um, uh, I guess, distance between the, this, whatever that's called, the distance between my view is limited. It's still really good, but it's not as good as it could be because obviously the closer you get the lenses to your face, uh, the better, uh, your more view, you're gonna have more view. So um, that's going to, when I get those, I'll talk about that as well because that should really make it amazing. And um, yeah, and then this strap on the top as well here, this works really good. So it kind of keeps it on your head. It's super comfortable, 
feels fairly light. You don't even really notice it. I've used it for a couple of hours. Um, you know, the main, like I said, the main games I've been playing so far, I play uh, DCS, Digital Combat Simulator. Uh, it's totally immersive, really cool. And then I've been playing Beat Saber a lot, and Beat Saber's awesome as well. So let me just show you the controllers now. So I'm gonna put this down here. Oh, and long cable on this one too, which is kind of neat. So the, the actual controllers, um, obviously there's two of them, this is, this is one. So the way the controllers fit onto your hand, <laughs> it's, also, it's also really, really cool. And there's this little strap here, just kind of, oops, I bumped my mic, you probably heard that. Um, anyways, you just pull this up and it sits there really, really good. And then there's like a little, see there's a touch pad here, right? There's a touch pad. I haven't actually used that yet. There's a little toggle, right? So we can toggle stuff. And apparently your fingers also work on this, but I haven't played any games where that works. And then there's the A and the B button, and then of course a little thing for turning it on. But they feel really, really good. So, so far the only ones I've tried is the, this one, and then the um, uh, Cosmos, which I said before, and this feels so much better than the Cosmos. And then there's, I think it's a two-stage trigger here too, which I haven't used because like I said, I've only played it with DCS and Beat Saber. For Beat Saber, it's a lot of fun. I really like that. I'm gonna post a video about that. And then I don't know if there's actually anything to this. I don't know if it's got something built into it or it's a protector. I have no idea. I haven't really done my research on that yet. And then there's a little plug here, which you would use to charge it. Um, it seems to get a pretty good uh, battery time. It's, uh, I don't know. I, I, I've been playing for Beat Saber. I maybe use it for three or four hours and then I charge it up and it still has lots of juice left at that point. I'll charge it overnight. Um, so, so yeah. So this is, yeah, the Valve Index. It's pretty freaking cool. That's what I'll say. I really, really like it. By far the coolest thing that I have. Um, yeah. Oh, one more thing here. So if you've got really big hands, I'm just noticing this. See how you can move this around as well. So if, if you take that and you, you see how that's moving there, so it can, you can have different, different I don't know, I guess hand grips. I like it on number two. That's what I got. Number two. All right. So, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, just post them below. Also, if this is your first time here and you've, you've been all the way, you've caught all the way to the end of this channel, uh, please subscribe and um, ring the little notification bell. I do post videos every week. Uh, some of them are good, some of them are bad, but you never know, right? Um, but uh, please subscribe to my channel, it really helps me out. And um, that's it. Like I said, if you have any questions about the Valve Index, anyways, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this and subscribe, ring the bell, and we'll talk to you next week. Thank you very much.